Hey everyone and welcome back to Newegg TV. My name is Paul and today I'm going to be doing an unboxing and overview of this new video card from PNY. This is PNY's Accelerate Enthusiast Edition of NVIDIA's GeForce GTX 760. We'll start off with a quick look at the retail box which is currently still shrink wrapped. Let me just unshrink wrapify it for you. Okay, so this is a Accelerate Enthusiast Edition graphics card from PNY. Uh, it does feature a lifetime warranty from PNY, so uh, they're going to back up this product. It's based on NVIDIA's GeForce GTX 760 GPU, uh, which one is, is one of their new 700 series GPUs. It's still based on the GK104 GPU that uh, the GTX 680 was based on, for example. This one features 2 gigabytes or 2048 megabytes of GDDR5 memory for a frame buffer. Uh, it also features some newer technologies from uh, NVIDIA that they released with the 600 series. Those are listed in more detail here on the back, actually right up here over on the side. So uh, for instance, here you get 1,152 CUDA cores, uh, two gigs of uh, memory, of course, are, as already mentioned. NVIDIA TXAA technology, which is uh, anti-aliasing. TXAA and FXAA, some new uh, anti-aliasing technology introduced with the 600 series. If you're interested in the difference 600 series to 700 series here, some of the cool features you get would be GPU Boost 2.0, uh, which does uh, automatic GPU overclocking, and then you can actually base that on a temperature target this time. Uh, it's actually very effective and uh, very, very kind of fun, actually, to do some overclocking with. Uh, you also get NVIDIA's new uh, fan control uh, software, which will prevent fan ramp up and ramp down. It keeps a more stable uh, fan speed overall. You can also see all the other features listed right here, um, such as support for OpenGL and OpenCL. This is also NVIDIA Shield ready, so if you do want to stream your video games to a NVIDIA Shield unit, which should be released very soon, you can do that with this video card. You also see minimum system requirements here, such as a 500 watt power supply with a minimum uh, 12 volt current rating of 30 amps on a, a 12 volt rail. And then uh, also box contents right there. Speaking of box contents, let's go ahead and take a look inside the box. Inside the retail box, we have some accessories here. Oh, what is this? This says it's an accessory kit. And I'm curious as to what's inside. Okay. Uh, first off, we have a quick start guide from PNY. So um, uh, this is going to give you basic instructions for installing software and hardware and also the different connectors on there. Uh, you also have the ever-present DVI to VGA adapter. So if you are using an older VGA monitor, you can connect it to this card. Uh, bear in mind, only one of the DVI ports on the card carries an analog signal, and I'll tell you which one. You also have the just as equally ever-present uh, Molex to PCI Express power connector. So uh, most newer power supplies should carry this type of connector known as PEG or PCI Express graphics. This is a six pin, and I'll show you in just a moment also which graphics, uh, which are, those are required by the card. Now this um, is a sample that was sent over to us by PNY. This is going to have the driver disc on it. Chances are if you get the retail box version, it will have a slightly more official disc than that. But uh, it doesn't matter anyway. You shouldn't use the disc or the driver that comes on the disc. You should use the uh, driver that's available directly from NVIDIA's website. So go ahead and, go ahead and download that if you purchase this card. Uh, and now on to the video card itself, which we can see right here. Uh, this one is going to adhere very closely to NVIDIA's reference design for the GTX 760. I'm just removing some of the plasticky parts to keep it looking nice and shiny. Uh, so here we can see they have done a little bit of uh, custom work with the look of the shroud, so that gives it a bit more of a distinct look. You have kind of a, this is, this is like a texture pattern right there with some, like, popped out triangles, looks kind of cool. There's also some extra ventilation down here, um, which is going to allow some extra um, air to escape, I suppose, after it's uh, the blower style fan is doing its job of cooling the card. Uh, speaking of the blower style fan that's located down here, this is primarily going to project air this way across a aluminum fin stack, which you might be able to get a look at from it here. And then it's going to uh, eject that air primarily out the back of the case, which is, uh, which is a very useful way to do that. Flipping around here, uh, we can see the bottom of the card. Uh, you will notice the PCB itself here is only about seven inches in length, whereas the uh, rest of the card extends to, well, let me get my ruler. Okay, here it is, a bit more of a proper measurement for you guys. So measured from the bracket, uh, we can see that this card is less than 10 inches long. I would give it, oh gosh, let's say nine and three quarters, just to be safe, uh, but it should fit in uh, most of the computer chassis that are available these days that have a fair amount of space. I'd say mid tower or full tower, of course. 
Uh, over here you can see your primary connector, which is gonna be PCI Express Gen 3. Uh, it is fully PCI Express Gen 3 compatible. However, don't worry if you are running an older system and you're using this card as an upgrade, it is still backwards compatible, PCI Express Gen 2. And uh, it's performance wise, if you compare a Gen 2 and a Gen 3 system, it's only like a couple, a couple points off, so it's not a huge deal. Uh, the GPU is located right underneath that area, as you can kind of see by the X mark right there. Uh, and that is, of course, cooled by the shroud right there. But the GPU uh, that they're using in there is, uh, once again, the GK104. Uh, it's the same GPU that was used in the GTX 680, for example, as well as the 670. Uh, it has three uh, graphics processing clusters, six streaming multiprocessors, and uh, 1,152 CUDA cores, 96 texture units, 32 uh, raster units, a uh, base clock of 980 megahertz and a boost clock of 1033 megahertz. But I already mentioned that uh, you get GPU boost uh, 2.0 with this card, which means you're actually probably going to be running at a faster speed than uh, 1033 megahertz, um, simply because as long as the GPU doesn't hit your, your temperature target, it will continue to attempt to overclock itself beyond that. Uh, also up here, you have a couple uh, SLI connectors. And um, a lot of folks will tell you that this one will only do up to three-way SLI. However, I've confirmed that this can do four-way SLI, although that is a, a bit of an overkill as far as GPU configuration. But you get two SLI fingers right there, and you would use those to connect for your SLI needs. Also, uh, two six-pin PCI Express graphics connectors right there, so those supplemental power from your um, power supply. Again, 500-watt power supply um, with the 30-amp, 12-volt rail is definitely recommended for this card. And then uh, apart from that, you get the GeForce GTX uh, 760 logo right there. Uh, I should mention this is based on the uh, Kepler architecture. That's a 28 nanometer fabrication process. Uh, you get 3.54 billion uh, transistors in that little GPU in there, which is kind of baffling just to think about. Uh, also, this is a two slot card design, so you are going to need two slots um, coming from your PCI Express or from your um, PCI connector ports there at the back of your computer. And speaking of the back of the computer, let's finish off with that here. We have some uh, video outs. Uh, you can use all four of these at the same time, so you can push up to four displays from this card. If you're using NVIDIA Surround to do gaming on multiple displays, you can do up to three displays for 3D gaming, and then you can use the fourth display as a companion display. Uh, you get HDMI 1.4 right there, as well as DisplayPort, and all these can do, uh, uh, these can do resolutions up to and beyond uh, to, uh, 2560 by 1600, I should say. Uh, and then over here you get a DVI-I, this lower one here, and that one does carry the analog signal as well. So if you are going to use that adapter, use it with this one. And then at the top you get a DVI-D, that's digital only, and those can also both do 2560 by 1600. And that is going to wrap it up for this unboxing and overview of the new PNY Accelerate Enthusiast Edition GeForce GTX 760 graphics card. I'm Paul with Newegg TV, and if you enjoyed this video, you should uh, hit the like button down there. Also, feel free to subscribe and share with your friends, and also post a comment. Let me know what you think of this card. Thanks a lot for watching, everyone, and we'll see you next time.